Okay, so are we gonna try to do some of the same things? Oh, I guess I have to deal with this first. Uh huh. My brain was moving ahead already. I'm trying to. I'm still trying to remember the list of things that we did. Okay. A capital city has been flooded by protesters and organized active demonstration, which makes no sense because they're not allowed to demonstrate, are they? Well, they're not supposed to, but yeah. they're still doing it. Okay. They have the supplies and temporary shelter necessary to sustain a prolonged occupation. Should this disruptive protest be allowed or broken up by riot police? Oh my god. <sighs> Allow it because demonstration is an important aspect of political participation. Although the location of the protest, protest is highly disruptive and inconvenient, it is peaceful and will be allowed to run its course. Okay, so it's a peaceful pro protest. I keep wanting to say protest for some reason. Uh, <laughs> have you considered banning assassinations? <laughs> <laughs> Plan. Thank you, Victorious. Yeah, just send in the pandas to disband it. <laughs> uh, strict rules for organized demonstration. Well, yeah, right now it's banned, so there is no strict rules for organized demonstration. Uh, see, if it's a peaceful pro protest, my instinct obviously is to allow it. Japanese men looking bears. Thank you very much for subscribing. <laughs> we can't say that name without laughing. <laughs> Dispand it, haha. Ha. Occupy pandas. Oh god, you guys. So, I mean, you're a hippy dippy. You're gonna have to allow that, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, our thing hasn't been downgraded again. That's really good. That is a good thing. I'm actually surprised, but sure, I'll take it happily. Okay. Mm. I'm afraid to do anything now because I don't know what's gonna make it crash. <laughs> Just do stuff, it'll be fine. We have way less political capital this time. Yeah, I'm willing to bet our cabinet. We might need to do a reshuffle. Uh, no. Actually, I don't know why we have so little. Well, the twos aren't great, but it's not as bad as I expected. No, this is fine. I wouldn't mess with that. Yeah, we're getting decent capital. Yeah, that's weird. Guess we'll see what happens next turn. Because we had points um, left over, but something is something is maybe a little glitched. Or maybe allowing the protests cost us a bunch or something. Oh, could that be it? Maybe, but I don't know. It seems surprising. Could be different. Huh, okay. So how's our democracy and corruption index and everything? I don't remember where the democracy icon is. Uh, they it's move, the, ba the is ballot the box on the top right. Yeah, and they do move every turn. <sighs> they move every time you reload the window. <laughs> so we still have zero democracy. Yeah, fantastic. And that's mostly being brought down by what? <laughs> Corruption. Scroll down. Corruption, military, interference. military interference. What's in military interference? Can we do something about that? That would be nice. Oh no. Because of our shit stability. Right. So here's the problem. Right. <laughs> Since we have no democracy, <laughs> we have shit stability. Yeah. Because we have shit stability, we have military interference. Because we have military interference, we have no democracy. Uh-huh. Welcome to the real world where everything's complicated. <laughs> God. Everything sucks. Everything is awful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there another way to improve stability? Right, by eliminating corruption, which we're working on. <laughs> racial tension. Yeah, maybe we could reduce racial tension somehow. It's coming down slightly. A wee bit. Because poverty, unemployment, foreign relations, those things all make... Yeah, make sense. Oh my god. Uh -huh. We should have played God, it was so much easier. <laughs> oh my god. You're the one that decided to struggle it. This, this country is hard mode. <laughs> Unemployment came down the tiniest, you can barely tell a smidge. Someone said if we ban child uh, labor, maybe uh, unemployment will go down because, you know, there'll be more jobs available. <sighs> Except it doesn't seem to do that. It should! No, we need to create jobs, not... yeah. Oh my god. I don't know how to balance this! It's awful! We need better roads. That might help. And road building keeps people busy. Right, it gives them let's, jobs. Let's max it out! It's only money. It's fine. Oh my god. It's fine. It's so much more. It almost does nothing for unemployment. I know. Oh my god. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Rail subsidies, maybe? Oh my god. Shit. We don't know what to do, you guys. People are saying we need the dictator hat. That might be true, actually. I'll be the pocket dictator in the back. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> there we go. I'm I'm the military interference. Yeah, yeah, because we need more of that. Oh, this is so hard. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to focus. Everything sucks. How's our national monorail going on? Oh, it takes forever. <laughs> it takes forever. 
<laughs> oh man. It'll be good, eventually. All it does make urban people happy. That's all it does. And reduces car usage a bit. Skill shortage is dropping, that's good. Yeah. Maybe pump up more technology, university grants. So technology, oh, science funding. Let's crank the science funding. Crank that funding. Oh my god. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I don't know. it's not gonna affect unemployment that much, but. No, but it will improve GDP, and which energy, will then affect say. unemployment. Yeah. And... It's fine. Mm. Higher technology also leads to greater productivity, which is actually something we haven't checked. I never remember which one that is either. Um... I don't know, if you click GDP, it'll be one of the things in the list. So click there. Oh, there it is. One box yeah. goes to three boxes. So that's going up, which is good. Yeah. And we are improving education, which will keep bringing productivity up. Yeah, the health could be improved. Yeah. The FGM is going away though, so health is going to improve over time. But I mean, other things would help with health too, yeah. like better medical service and. I'm on fire! Thanks for the resub. Pollution situation and. And a teeny tiny little Swede. <laughs> Can we oh, increase oil drilling? That's an interesting question. Birthdays. Thank you guys. Can we what? Can we increase oil drilling? What? First time it's because I didn't hear you. This time it's what? <laughs> Drill, baby, drill. No, you suck. <laughs> but, yeah, I sucked the oil out of the ground. You suck. <laughs> environment is zero. And then going down. We have zero the environment. Pollution is going up. <gasps> oh. <laughs> All right. There's something in here about the environment somewhere. Whether or not we have enough political capital, capital to do anything about it remains to be seen. But... Or money. Or that. <laughs> Okay, well, there's that, but there was something else. Pollution controls. There was an environmental something or other. Like, it actually had the word environment or environmental or something in the title. I just don't remember what it was. It was something new that I'm not really familiar with. Are you sure you don't want oil drilling subsidies? <clears throat> not talking to you anymore. <laughs> Where was the thing that I saw? I'd say we should tax the rich, but we don't have any. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is awful! I feel so bad. Um, we do have racial tension, so the Race Discrimination Act might actually be something that helps that. That's true. Which I think will affect democracy. Probably. I will go back to it in a sec. I'm just trying to find something that I'm sure I saw somewhere. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of crazy now because I can't find it. Oh, everybody wants that, actually. Technology grants would be good. Alright, I've lost my mind. Okay. What I thought was in here, I'm sure there was something. There was this new policy that had to do with the environment. It's either already implemented, or I'm imagining it. Awesome. Of all the things I've lost, I miss my mind the most. Uh-huh. How's the Osborne? <laughs> we used to have a magnet that said that on our fridge when I was mm. growing up. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Uh, what was the thing I was going to come back to? Race discrimination? Yeah, I think that would be a good one. Plus, it's cheap, and we have no money. Cheap-ish, yeah. And it increases liberalism membership. And makes the conservatives more angry. Awesome. Hooray! God. Um. Small business grants, yeah. I sometimes look at those. <laughs> poor collectives. Recycle the poor for scrap metal. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys hurt my brain. Oh my god. It's just so bad. Everything is so bad. The desert's getting worse. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> the Seriously. Envir the environment we, is poop. How do we fix this? <laughs> uh, honestly, I think the environment has to come second. But it all is connected. It is all connected. That is the nature of the game. It's wonderful. <laughs> There's all these conflicting things that you try to do. Well, if it, it the monorail, it's funny. It doesn't actually reduce car usage. I thought it did. Uh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. I, I guess it, it does. Did. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Cheryl. Thank you. Cheryl's here. Hey. Oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Which reminds me, uh, Vale. And her yes. husband said they'd be watching today. Ah, cool. <laughs> Band desserts. 
No. No pie for anyone. Never that. Never ban desserts. I don't even know what to do anymore. I got nothing. You can just get the next turn. <laughs> Should we save? Yeah. I don't remember where that button is. Hit escape. Is. Or you could also hit the gears up there. Oh, it's the gears. Okay. And save. And just type a letter. D. I mean, at a certain point, we could just save over the ones over again, but... Right, yeah. Okay. You said to type a letter, so I typed a letter. I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! But we just passed a race discrimination By act. government security forces? I think people oh under misunderstood God. the name of the act. We meant to lower racial discrimination, not increase it. Oh, shit, bag. That's really bad. Jezza, thanks for the resub. Oh, my God. It's such a happy time. <laughs> I don't know how to function right now. So that's going to suck. Yeah. And we got a credit rating down, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Boy, am I happy I'm not president of Egypt. Mm, the Traditional Values Alliance doesn't like us. I'm just ready. I'm just here to, like... You know, when the coup happens. No one's gonna vote for us charge. still. I don't even know right now. Give me a sec. Oh my god. I, I wanna just see how like democracy and stuff is coming along. Uh not dem well apparently. Democracy is still zero. <laughs> so that's good. Um, so that's good. The minor minority town population kill that actually is helping to bring it down. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well. The protester thing is increasing it, but yeah, it's still a military uh so, We're not at credit rating Z yet. <laughs> so if we ban the military, we can save a whole bunch of money. <laughs> if we ban the military. And then they won't interfere with us anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, but what's going to happen if you just up and ban the military all of a sudden in an unstable country? What could, what could possibly go wrong? Oh my god. Everything, apparently. Race riots oh are going god. down a little bit. For some reason. <laughs> something. Thanks to the right of demonstration and also the armed police. We didn't change the demonstration law. We just mm. allowed that one. Oh, racial tension spiked back up. <laughs> it was on its way well, down a I, bit. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I mean... Uh, we still have no education. We don't need no education. Oh my god. Wow, you guys... Positech, you guys seriously managed to make this game harder. <laughs> Council land tenure still improving. I think the infrastructure will really improve over time. <coughs> I hope so. I think it might be time to buy in child labor and hope that it boosts education and does something. Yeah, just that's right, somewhere. Captain Argentina. I'm just chilling in the corner waiting for the coup d'etat. Oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> everything is everything is awful. Everything is awful. Everything is bad when you're the dictator. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we didn't implement public libraries. Right, that was one of the things that oh, happened. Oh, damn it. What? I'll do it now. Yeah. yeah, that would have been really good. Watch this be the one that crashes the game for some reason. Uh, that would really suck. Probably it doesn't. Are we just going to leave it here? Max it out! Even though it doesn't do much? Yeah! <laughs> Even though it costs double? It's only money. We can declare bankruptcy a couple times. Only money, you guys. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, my gosh. Okay, to save over this one, maybe? Sure. Or? Yeah. Oh, we think it might crash this time, though. We'll try one more, okay. just in case. Yeah, it's probably safer. <laughs> Don't crash from public libraries. Okay, libraries did not crash. Yay, children's food. A law has been proposed to regulate the fat content and nutritional value of food sold to children, including food sold in Right, because that's what we need to be worrying about right now. Okay, health is a big deal right now. Although, fat is not. People think low fat is better. People don't understand. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, Just let the kids eat their chips. Two, two tags? I'm not sure I'm reading that properly. Uh, no, Syria and Iraq are not playable countries in this this, this build. expansion? Is, what is this called? It, it's, it's a new version. It's a standalone version. game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> new new version, new offshoot of the game, whatever. Yeah, at least not yet. I mean, I don't know if they're planning on implementing them before it's done, but mm. they're not right now. I mean, technically those are both Middle East and this is Africa, so probably not. Okay, uh... Whoa, they have the Middle East now? Hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I don't know how to deal with this right now. Um... Actually, serious question, is there a Near East? 
as opposed probably, to the Far East. Yeah, there probably used to be a term. Yeah, I There's think. There's probably the Near East, the Middle East, the Far East. Yeah, I do think some areas are, in some circles, in some contexts, still technically called the Near East. Well, these are probably British people making up these terms, right? So the Near yeah. East is probably something like Holland. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> play Somalia. Actually, I probably would have, but that wasn't an option either. I would have loved to play Somalia. Although, to be fair, that probably would have been a worse situation than Egypt, even. Probably, yeah. <laughs> you can't play democracy in Somalia. They don't have a government. It's anarchy. Mm, Alright, it's not literally, but almost. But pretty close, yeah. Alright, go ahead and regulate your children's food. <laughs> God. I didn't even say anything about it, and he's just like, okay, fine. It is generally in democracy three the best option because it improves health and boosts other things. Makes sense. Near East is Turkey and the Balkans. That ah, makes sense. Anatolia. Yeah, yeah alright. That makes sense. I can dig it. Okay. So it makes sense you're saying to regulate their food? I hadn't even finished reading it yet. I got distracted by things. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Security staff now routinely monitoring communications within With a group of female anti government protesters. I didn't mean to click on that actually. How do I get back? Uh, if you could just click X, it's fine. You can, um, oh. it's the report, is the paper. Right. That brings right. back okay. here. Because I was just trying to scroll down. The Matrix, the Matrix. of Justice. <laughs> women hate me. I have banned female genital mutilation and women hate me. How does that work? <laughs> There's, things are still pretty unequal. Yeah, I know. And, oh, wow, that's weird. Half the population in your country is female. What, what odd. That's so strange. Yeah, the weird oh, statistics. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How do I make you guys happier? Oh, well, it's going up. Yeah, there's, it's the gender Ish. inequality is the big thing. They're annoyed. They're not angry. They're just annoyed. <laughs> well, I'm not happy about the inequality either, if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> oh my god. It's the con the percentage of your population being conservative and religious See? is the biggest thing that leads to gender inequality. See? <laughs> so unless we, until we get rid of the conservatives and the religious people, there's nothing we can do. Improving education helps, but... Yeah. Wow. Which we're working on. Yeah. Oh my god. Am I at risk of assassination? I'm getting there. Yeah. <laughs> click, click on the gun icon. Let's see what the actual threats are. Gun, gun, gun. Where? Which at the segment? Top. The very top. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Just so, values. At, the, at the top, the first half, these are like the groups that are opposed to you. Yeah. And the second half are the, the like radicalized, the militant version of those groups. Right, the angry ones. And so there's quite a few. The Moral Crusade wants to kill you. <laughs> the Warriors of Gaia want to kill you. The power to all want to kill you. Bad. The land army, oh and the matriarchs of justice. It's interesting that both, like, the conservative religious people, mm -hmm. and also the liberals, yeah, <laughs> all yeah. just want to kill you. Well, the liberals and stuff want to kill me because things are still bad. Yeah. I mean, we're working on it, but we haven't fixed it yet. Actually, the human rights society is totally fine with you. Well, no threat. That's because we've done some good things, and they recognize that you know mm -hmm. it, it's it's being worked on. <clears throat> yes, teaching evolution is a good way to move people out of the religious group. That's true. That is a possibility. That is true. I mean, it'll make them really mad at first. Super mad. <laughs> but it also increases liber liberalism. That's true. The, the downside is it makes them upset instantly, but it takes forever to actually start affecting the membership. I don't know if that's is that worth it right now. I don't know. I don't know. Either. I mean, often it's one of the first things I do in my countries because it's a really good long-term in, in, uh, improvement. Really good long-term yeah, no, improvement. Yeah, no, I know it is. It's one of the first things I usually do, too. I mean, if, if you want to play a liberally kind of country, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a really good thing to do. But short-term, it can really get you murdered. It click can the, really get you click murdered? Click on the membership button here. Uh, membership. So, oh, Human Development Index. This is what's contributing to high religious... Uh, people. So click on that. Good. So we have right. no human development. HDI in there. is non existent. <laughs> and apparently, so there's nothing affecting it right now, but presumably there might be things we can use to boost it. Health, education, and income. <laughs> All the things that are a problem. <laughs> Excuse me. I guess, okay, I guess this is just a calculation of the other things. It doesn't say anything about causes, but presumably if we improved health, education, and income, this would change. I would think so. Unless it's a fixed starting value that we can't mess with. Uh, no, this is a that lot harder be, than normal that democracy. That must three. be something you can tweak. I, mean, I would hope so. Be. So, it seems like, honestly, if we're playing as, as Egypt here, mm -hmm. we can't do anything, uh, it, it feels like, about really reducing the conservatives or the religious. 
Not well, for a long time. Yeah. You've got your it's first... not going to be easy in the past, no. Going for it, if I were to play this one again, my first term as Egypt, I would not upset them at all. I would look at <laughs> other ways to improve things without messing around with that. Although, yeah. I don't know, because a lot of the policies that you'd want to uh, pass, have to pass are going to upset them. Yeah. God. Well, I don't know, maybe if education keeps going up, it'll improve the HDI and <clears throat> change something. Adult education subsidies, technology We don't have colleges. the technology colleges yet. We could do that. Stem cells, well, that pisses off the religious. But... Yeah, it does. Art, who knows that? It increases education! Youth club subsidies. kind of cool. I think that can bring down race it does. relation issues. It really does. And it probably helps the whole international. Oh, we can have international election observers. Yeah, people don't oh, like that. Oh, and that government code of conduct never got implemented because of the crash stuff, which oh, right. might be fine now. It's going to make people mad, but should we do it? Sure. <clears throat> yeah, makes the state employees <laughs> really mad. So stressful. <laughs> Foreign policy. Rip machine. Pff, what's a little debt? It's not going to cause any problems. What's a little I don't know debt? what you're talking about. It's fine. Guys. Don't even worry about it. <sighs> oh my god, I don't even know what to do. I mean, I, that's usually one of the things I do, but I don't know if in this particular case it's going to make a huge difference either way. I, I don't know if it's the direction we need to move in right now. Okay. Jury trial is good. Legal aid is good. Well, that might make some of the women less angry with Sure, me. do it. <laughs> I mean, this is talking about affirmative action, but I wouldn't... I wouldn't assume that a gender discrimination act is affirmative action. I mean, it shouldn't be. That's weird. I mean, I guess that is what it is, but it shouldn't be. It should just be saying it's illegal to... Discriminate against. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. Well, that probably is part of what the slider is for, right? Oh, when you implement it. maybe. You know, the, at the lowest end, it's like, don't literally discriminate against <sighs> people for this. Right. And at the higher end, it's, you need to make sure that, you know, you got a 50-50 ratio right, right. in your hiring policies. Okay. There's also that still, too. I mean, should we go f I'm actually nervous now. Should we go for it or not? Sure! I hate it when you just say, sure! It's fine! <laughs> just pick stuff. <laughs> I know where our donations for the charity are going now. It's such as Egypt. Yeah, they're gonna need some help. That's weird. This is all just something called positive action. I don't really know what that means, but okay. I think it's, it's terms of, like, weird, like... In, in forcing a certain amount of okay, action, Okay, so right? what we want is legal equality. There you go. Which still makes some significant, even in democracy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so that that's actually a good thing. Yeah. Okay. And it's free! I was worried! We need more free things. Because, uh, like like I said, affirmative action is kind of a weird sticky point. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so our income Yeah, we do need really more moved, free things, yeah. But we keep increasing our deficit. I know, we should probably start taxing things. <laughs> People are in favor of that. They're saying tax fuel, tax this, tax that. I mean, I'm usually for these two, but... Potential income up to 161 billion. Wow! I mean, if you go too high with it, it can significantly affect a lot of things because people don't want to come and, like, invest in yeah. business in your country mm -hmm. and blah, 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 but... But it can help the pollution long-term. Yeah. And it can give you money. Yeah. We do have pollution. If we balance it really, really carefully. <laughs> Going for it? Go for it! Mm. Makes everyone unhappy. Everybody's gonna hate it. Except for the environment. Environmentalists. Yeah. I didn't even We're like. We're currently continue. looking to kill you. It brings the GDP down. It does. Okay, so where can? But we it does make it? a lot of tax dollars. Holy crap! Okay, so where can we put it where it's still bringing in money, but it doesn't completely and totally screw with our GDP? Yeah, right there. It's tw Twenty-one billion dollars a quarter. I mean, that's, that's not doing nearly as much stuff. No. But 
At least it's bringing money in. Yeah. And that's not going to be prohibitive. Yeah, we'll be looking at the uh, donations very soon. Sounds like a lot of people are getting in there. If you guys want to be in on the next name reading, go ahead and send in your donations now. We'll get to you momentarily. Go, go, donate. (laughs) To... Go, go, power, donate. Close to this part of the world. I don't think Egypt is actually on the list of countries that the IRC is actively working in currently. Okay. Although they work in 40 countries, so I'm not necessarily remembering them all right now. And again, after we're done (laughs) here, they're going to need us. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) It's a really good thing we're not in power. (laughs) So, all right, so that's going to raise 20 billion. We're still, so that's still going to leave us 80 billion short. I know. But yeah, I guess we have no political capital, so go ahead and say. I guess we'll say we're the last one because it worked out okay. Sure. Uh, I think you just, you might have to just type in the E up there. Oh, okay. I couldn't. I haven't played this probably since um, my birthday I mean, charity stream last year. Uh, <laughs> it should work. If you click on it, it should auto-populate the name, but it don't. Okay. It don't. What's a Moobot? Yay, no crash. A Moobot is a bot. It's a robot. It's a... It's a bot that goes move. That, yeah. It's a programmy thing that does stuff on our command. <laughs> Public smoking ban. I mean, I'm usually all for that. <laughs> In all, on on all smoking in public. So I mean, yeah, you can still smoke in your own private houses or whatever. Yeah, you haven't banned I mean, tobacco. Yeah, but keeping it away from everybody else seems like a nice thing to do. It does seem like a good thing. Also, It'll education's help going up with everything. So it is. Yay! Uh, nothing else is changing. <laughs> the global economy is in a recession. Which is so never going to sucks. Help. And still, nobody's going to vote for us. No. We're not going to win the next election. There's no possible way. No, but I like to think, you know, that at least we've left the country just a little bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my no, god. No, it has better laws. Oh. What's that symbol? That's new. Where, which one? That, right there. Oh. I looked at it earlier. Oh. oh right, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's free, and we could actually use it to improve democracy. Oh. Oh. By lowering term limits. Oh, interesting. Should we do that? I mean, it only goes up a little bit, but I guess it's three. It's gonna, I mean, it, it's gonna take twenty. We might wait to wait. Might, you might want to spend your uh, capital somewhere else, like tax more things. Right. Tax all the we things. We need money. I'm gonna have a candy. You can't have it. I can't have those. Well, I don't. Do they have English ingredients, or French ingredients, or Spanish potentially? <laughs> Anything yes. that I can read. Well, okay, it's a gelling agent, E440. See? Is that gelatin, or? Shoot. I don't know. Oh, the color may not be good either. I can't remember if you want I mean, 20. they're jujubes, basically, so I assumed. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, I don't want those anyway. Yeah, that. <laughs> the Finlandia balls. Look, look, look. They're super cute. Oh, you can't see it because of the glare. Hold on. There it is. There. And then, oh, then it goes see through. This is uh, fancy magic mm-hmm. candy. <laughs> Traditional taste. Apricot, of course, because uh. as we've discovered in Europe, if it's not licorice, it's apricot. You guys are obsessed with apricot. Blackcurrant, lemon, cute. and strawberry. 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 <laughs> Point was moot, yeah. Mm. Legalize drugs and then tax it? That must be somebody who follows you on, on Twitter and saw that I did that once. <laughs> okay, I've probably done it more than once. Oh, E440 is pectin. Aha, okay, cool. Like I said, though, um, that one coloring agent might mm. be carmine, and I can't remember. So. But you can have one of the yellow ones, you can have the lemon one. That's true. It'll get stuck in my teeth, though. It sounds. It, if they were smaller, mm-hmm. I probably would have, if they were like that size. Uh. But it's this giant ball of stuff that's gonna get stuck in my teeth, and I'm gonna be like going like this and not talking yeah, to you guys for like an hour. One. Yeah. So I usually like the petrol tax. I, like I said, I usually do that just because a little bit of income is good. Um. Recreational drug tax. Game hunting restrictions. I really want to do that at some point, but that's not gonna help us right now. I don't know what to do. Um. I mean, there's the petrol tax. Sure, do that. Because a lot of these, like, are... Some of them I don't even understand enough is the problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Environmentalists... That seems good. 
Oh, and it reduces the membership in the motorists, which will reduce car usage even more. What happens if you max this out? That's what I was just thinking. Okay, that starts to drop the GDP, so no good. Wow, when it but makes that, the motorists really <laughs> angry. <laughs> at the middle point, though, it didn't really affect the GDP at all. Like, it's a bearish sliver. Like, bearish? Yeah, and it raises $44 billion in taxes. Yeah, which is really good. I like it. Okay. 